After dropping the season opener to Utica Eisenhower 42-17 on August 25th, the Lake Orion Dragons came home to host the Oak Park Knights on Thursday, September 1st. On the Dragons' first possession, sophomore Tristan Hill is under center, facing a second and six on the Dragons' 34-yard line. Hill hands off to Raymond Payne, who runs right, finds a hole, skirts down the sideline, dodges tacklers, and outruns the defense on his way to a 66-yard touchdown. The extra point was good, and the Dragons are up 7-0 early in the first. Following the kickoff, the Knights begin a drive on their own 25. On second and 17, quarterback Dorota Harris finds a wide open Timothy Squire, who gains 52 yards before getting taken down on the Dragons 25. On the next play, Harris hands off to Darnell Boone, who goes up the middle and for 25 yards and a touchdown. The Knights traveled 77 yards in two plays to tie things up at seven. In the second quarter, following an Oak Park turnover, the Dragons begin a drive on their own 28. They methodically move the ball down the field, and on second down on the Knights 28, Hill fakes the handoff season opening and goes the distance to regain the lead. The PAT was good, and the Dragons are up 14-7 with 6.26 left in the first half. Following a short Oak Park punt, the Dragons begin another drive from the Knights 45. On first down, Billy Roberson takes the handoff and is pulled down by his face mask at the 35. The personal foul places the ball at the Knights' 18-yard line. On second down, Hill tucks it away and goes in for the score. Hey, this sophomore is pretty good. The PAT was good and the Dragons take a two-touchdown lead with 2.30 left in the half. With just over a minute left in the first half, Oak Park lines up to punt. The snap is high and Boone pulls it down and scrambles. He's taken down inside the 30, and on the very next play, quarterback Hill finds his older brother, Dorian Hill, for the touchdown. The extra point was good, and the Dragons head into the locker room with a 28-7 lead. The Dragons tacked on a field goal in the third to extend the lead to 31-7. Then, with the third quarter winding down, Darren Jones Jr. comes up just short of the goal line. But on the next play, Roberson plunges into the end zone to make the score 38-7. Now here's a weird series of plays. In the fourth quarter, the Dragons are facing a fourth and 10 on their own 20 and decide to punt it away. The snap is high and Caleb Jones mishandles the ball. It bounces into the end zone where Tyron Gates tries to fall on it. It squirts loose and it looks like Luke Gannon recovers it in the end zone for a safety, but the referee signals a touchdown. After some discussion, the play stood as called, and when the Knights lined up to kick the extra point, the snap was bad, and Bishop James scoops it up and races toward the pylon, where he scores the two-point conversion. Unbelievable. As exciting as that was, it didn't mean much, since the Dragons got one last touchdown from Dorian Hill to make the final score 45-15. After the game, we caught up with Chris Bell, who returned as head coach, replacing John Blackstock. It was Bell's first game as head coach since 2016. Just, I'm very proud of the kids, the way they responded, because we really, really, we played two-thirds of football last week. We played pretty good defensively, we were really good on special teams, and offensively we were a mess. And to have the guys come back, we made some changes, but we cleaned some things up, that, and we played clean football tonight. And not perfect, um, mm -hmm. but we played clean football, and I think that we made a team that's it's really pretty good. Oak Park is going to be a good team. They've got some athletes and players. Mm -hmm. Greg's a great coach, but you know they, they weren't doing a lot to stop us, so I'm really proud of our kids, the way they played. It looked like, it, TR looked like an entirely different football player than what we saw last week. He matured tonight. He made a statement. Talk about your quarterback. You know, I got two good ones, and uh, you know, as, as good as TR played, I'm proud of Connor, who was a great teammate and coaching him along the way. And it's hard; they both want to play. Um, TR just does. We made some adjustments to the offense, and it kind of fits TR a little bit better. Um, but you know, we, we got to keep bringing both along because when you're running a quarterback, you know, the, the quarterback takes a shot. We got to be the other guy ready to go, and Connor can run it too. Um, the hard part is this: I think what will help TR is starting the game. He was able to get in the flow. It's very, very hard sometimes to come off the bench cold, and starting the game helped him get in the flow, and that was the idea.
The one and one Dragons travel to Oxford on September 9th to take on their crosstown rivals in the battle for the double O trophy. Then they return home on September 16th to host Rochester Adams. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.